Novak Djokovic versus Kasper Ruud is the final of the men's French Open for 2023. And both guys have had to fight to get to this stage. Ruud started the tournament off as a number four seed and will take on Ema in the first round. There's no problem for Ruud getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-3, 6-2. In the second round, he take on Zapiri. And after dropping the third set, Ruud will get through in four. 6-3, 6-2, 4-6, 7-5. In the third round, he take on Zong. And after losing the first set, he had to fight back to win. 4-6, 6-4, 6-1, 6-4. In the fourth round, he take on Jarry, who had a very good play season so far and had actually beaten Rude two weeks ago. But Rude got his revenge, getting through in a close straight set, 7-6, 7-5, 7-5 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rude would take on his old foe Runa, the number six seed, the man that he beat last year at this same stage. And again, this was the same result for Rude, getting through in four, 6-1, 6-2, 3-6, 6-3 to advance to another French Open semifinal. In the semifinals, Rude would take on the number 22 seed Zverev, who had had a fairy tale run after the horrific injury he sustained last year in the semifinals. Final. But Rude was way too good, getting through in straights, 6 3, 6 4, 6 love, to make it to another Grand Slam final. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number three seed and would take on Kovacevic in the first round. This is no problem for Nole, winning in straights, 6 3, 6 2, 7 6. In the second round, he'd take on Fucevic, and after a long first set, Djokovic would win in straights, 7 6, 6 love, 6 3. In the third round, he'd take on Fakina, the 29th seed, and this was so far Djokovic's toughest match, getting through a long straight sets win, 7 6, 7 6, 6 2. In the fourth round, he'd take on Varias, who would play three five setters, including beating her catch, the 13th seed along the way. This was Djokovic's easiest win, getting through in straights, 6 3, 6 2, 6 2, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number 11 seed Hashinov. And after dropping the first set, Djokovic would fight back to win in four, 4 6, 7 6, 6 2, 6 4 to advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Djokovic would take on the world number one, Carlos Alcaraz, who would just beat up Tsitsipas in the quarterfinals. And after splitting the first two sets, Alcaraz would suffer from cramp, allowing Djokovic to get through the final. 6-3, 5-7, 6-1, 6-1. These two guys have played four times before, with Djokovic winning all matches in straight sets. But Rude has been competitive when they've been on the clay courts. And the way Rude has looked in the last couple of days, super confident, could make it interesting. If Rude's going to win this one, he needs to make sure he moves Djokovic around. We did see Djokovic get a little bit sore with the arm during the second set of his match against Alcaraz. So Rude really needs to work Djokovic around and make him move. Djokovic's going to win this one. He needs to just play his normal game. He knows he can beat Rude. He's beaten him four times before, and it should be an easy match on paper. This is such a good final. It's great to see Rude in another final after 12 months being here, but I think Djokovic's going to win this one in four sets. I think Rude's come a long way against a lot of guys. He's beating a lot of the top 10 guys these days, which he didn't usually do but I don't think he can beat Goats just yet. I feel like he's going to struggle and maybe get a set, but I think Djokovic wins his 23rd slam at the French Open. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win the final.